What's going on guys? So today I'm going to be doing a video for my entire Steelbook collection. So first up, I'm going to be showing you my G1s, which are DVD Steelbooks. So first is the Boondock Saints. So you have the Unrated Special Edition and the Deluxe Collector's Edition. These are the same exact thing. It's just that this one I think is made uh, from a Canadian company. So I like to get a lot of different versions of this movie, the first one and the second one. So I thought that was pretty cool that they're just slightly different. And they were about like $3 each. So, you know, definitely cool to have. Next up is the Boondock Saints 2 All Saints Day DVD Steelbook. I really like this one. The artwork is really cool on it. Um, and I'm not going to be opening up a lot of these just to save time. And a lot of my regular like Blu-ray 4K steelbooks are in protector sleeves. So I don't want to take them out. That'll take absolutely forever. So, but yeah, um, Boondock Saints 2 All Saints Day. Definitely a really cool G1 steelbook. Next up is Fight Club. So this is a really, really nice one too. Uh, again, just DVD but definitely worth owning. I do have a couple copies of this movie, so this is a really cool G1. And then last up from the G1s is Iron Man. Uh, again, just DVD steelbook, but very, very cool artwork. I've been actually looking for this for a while, so I got it for a pretty cheap price. Definitely worth owning. All right, now on to the G2 steelbooks, which are Blu-ray and 4K. So first we have The Breakfast Club. This is the 35th anniversary edition. I really love this. Uh, just like a cool locker artwork. So definitely really cool owning, especially because it was like 15 bucks brand new. So, All right, next up is Us. Uh, I really loved this movie, and I really love the artwork of this. Uh, it's just very minimal. Uh, 4K and Blu-ray. All right, next up is Pineapple Express. I've been looking for the steelbook for a really long time and ended up finding it for about $10 sealed. So fantastic deal. Uh, I have not opened it since I already do have the movie on Blu-ray, but yeah, just super, super cool artwork. And we have Fight Club, the Blu-ray steelbook. I really love this one. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. I might do an unboxing for it soon, but definitely one of my all-time favorite movies and uh, a really, really nice steelbook. I just love the colors on this. It's kind of like a neon kind of vibe. All right, and then next we have Hardcore Henry. Uh, this is a German steelbook. In Germany, the movie's just called Hardcore. I am a huge fan of this movie. I really love it. A lot of people uh, criticize it, but I think it's really cool. Just action-packed. A really cool story, too. Um, and definitely one of my favorite artworks, honestly. It's just very, very cool. All right, next we have Get Out. Uh, I absolutely love this movie. I'm a huge fan of Jordan Peele, and this steelbook is incredible. It is still sealed. Uh, I found it for about $15, brand new at an FYE, so I was really lucky to come across this because I didn't think I would ever find this for a really good price, so this definitely completed my Jordan Peele collection with Get Out and Us. Next up is Home Alone. So this is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. I found this at Book Off for like $10, which is a steal, because uh, normally it's it's actually pretty expensive. They did a limited run of these, so definitely worth the 10 bucks. Super cool steel book. All right, next is one of my all-time favorites, The Cabin in the Woods. I love, love this artwork so much. Uh, this is my favorite horror movie of all time. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. It is very um, unique and very smart. So I really like how this steelbook looks too because it kind of matches the tone of the movie. And uh, yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites. This is a Zavi exclusive. And next we have Popstar, Never Stop, Never Stopping. I love this movie. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love The Lonely Island. Um, I think this is a really, really funny, like, um, like satire on pop culture. So I think they did a really good job with this movie. And this cover is absolutely incredible. Definitely one of my favorite artworks as well. Um, they took a joke that was in the movie for maybe like 10, 15 seconds and turned it into the whole cover. So I really appreciate that. I think that's uh, definitely super unique as well as the movie. So if you haven't seen this, if you like comedies, if you like The Lonely Island, definitely give this movie a watch. And I'm very lucky to have gotten this steelbook for such a good price. All right, next up is Zombieland. So this was a Best Buy exclusive, just regular Blu-ray, and it was like $10, so. And I like to keep the J cards as well up top, uh, just because it makes it look like it's new. You know, even though I opened this one, uh, I still like to have my collection look like it's, like, you know, still sealed in the box, kind of like a store, so. All right, and then next up is Whiplash, an incredible movie. I actually have two copies of this, uh, mainly because they're about $7 at Best Buy, which is insane for a, a Blu-ray steelbook. Um, but yeah, I just have one that's open, and then I have one that's sealed. So this one is for watching, 
and this one is just for collecting. And I really love the spine of this too. Definitely one of my favorite spines. Uh, it's just like really colorful, really pops, especially when you lay it on the spine. So two copies of Whiplash. Next up is The Wolf of Wall Street. Uh, this was the Target exclusive steelbook. I really, really love the artwork for this. Um, I still haven't opened it because I do have the movie on Blu-ray, just regular Blu-ray, which I use to watch. But uh, yeah, I think this is a really, really nice cover. So definitely worth owning. I got it for a great price. Next up is Ready Player One. This is definitely my favorite artwork of all the different uh, iterations of this. There's a lot of different steelbooks for Ready Player One, but this is definitely my favorite artwork for it. Uh, it's just like very cool, almost like a 80s kind of style. Um, yeah, so this is the Blu-ray 3D and regular Blu-ray. I still haven't opened it because I do have the movie on Blu-ray. So yeah, definitely worth having for the collecting purpose. All right, next up is The Doors, The Final Cut. Uh, the Doors are my favorite classic rock group, and I absolutely love the movie. I think Val Kilmer killed it. He couldn't have been more like Jim Morrison. It's actually kind of bizarre, uh, and I really just love this steelbook so much. Even though it is region B, um, and I can't watch it on my player, uh, but I, I don't care. I just I had to get this for the artwork because it's absolutely incredible, um, and it is the final cut too, which is the extended version of the movie. All right, next up is Chappie. I found the steelbook for $5, brand new, which is absolutely incredible. Uh, I really like this movie, even though a lot of people don't. It's not my favorite Neil Blomkamp movie, but it's definitely worth watching and definitely worth buying on a steelbook. And next is Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. Uh, I absolutely love this movie. I think it's so good, and I love the artwork just as much as the movie, honestly. Uh, this was, a, I think it was a Walmart exclusive, so it's a hilarious movie if you like, like, dark comedies. I definitely recommend watching it. I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix, so give it a watch. All right, next up is Buried. This movie is extremely twisted. Uh, if you're claustrophobic, definitely don't watch this movie. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I think it's really unique. It's really cool. And uh, I had to get this steelbook because I absolutely love the artwork for it. All right, so next up is Shaun of the Dead. Uh, Edgar Wright is definitely my favorite director of all time, so I love, love, love this movie. I could watch it all the time. And I found this steelbook for about like $8, brand new. Uh, it's an FYE exclusive, so they had a sale going on where you can get two of them for half off, I think. So, yeah, it's definitely a really cool pickup. It's not the best Shaun of the Dead cover artwork for steelbooks. There's a bunch of them, but um, yeah, I mean, for 8 bucks, definitely worth owning. All right, and next up is Sucker Punch. Uh, I'm a big fan of this movie. Not a lot of people like it. Uh, but yeah, I think it's really unique. It's really fun and it's kind of dark too. So this steelbook was really cool to find, especially for about six or seven dollars, which is in an incredible deal. It's Blu-ray. It comes with the regular Blu-ray and it comes with the extended cut Blu-ray. So definitely a great, great cop. All right. Next up is A Quiet Place. I really like this cover uh, because it's actually textured right here. So it feels like there's actual scratch marks on it. Um, yeah, I got this for, I think, like, 7 or $8, which is incredible. Again, another FYE find. So, totally worth it. Great movie, great price. All right, next up are my two Mondos. I have Toy Story, uh, my favorite Pixar movie of all time. I absolutely love this artwork, and I got it for really cheap, too. I think around uh, 15 bucks. so definitely really cool to own. All right, and then my other Mondo is the Boondock Saints. I think this is my favorite Mondo artwork. Um, again, I have a lot of different copies of this movie, but this is by far my favorite version of it. Um, yeah, the artist who did this worked really hard on it, and uh, I think it definitely shows. It is, I think it's a, a German release or something. They only released it in, like, Germany or Italy. Um, but, yeah, I got this for a really good price on Amazon, so definitely my favorite Boondock Saints copy. And then next we have Joker, the U.S. Steelbook. So this is a Best Buy exclusive. It is still sealed. I have a lot of copies of this movie, uh, so I mainly just use the, the regular Blu-ray for watching. But yeah, I use this for the collectible purpose. Uh, I still got it sealed. It's an awesome artwork. I had to pre-order it, and they are like all gone now. So I was definitely lucky to get my hands on this one. And then next is the other Joker Steelbook. I have the Italy exclusive. I think this is the best artwork out of all of them. Uh, but it is a shame because it came broken from Amazon twice, 
and uh, this was the replacement. So all they did was just refund me and they didn't send me a new one because they're out of stock and now these are extremely rare. So, I mean, that kind of sucks, but uh, I sold my first copy because I knew I was getting a replacement. I shouldn't have done that because the first one was far less damaged, but still a great piece in my collection um, and an amazing, amazing movie. Definitely my favorite movie of 2019. Next up is another Edgar Wright movie, Baby Driver, an incredible movie. The entire movie was just made and circled around the soundtrack, which I absolutely love, super unique. Uh, this is just the regular Best Buy exclusive steelbook, um, but I do have the premium version. And here's the premium version, Baby Driver, the kimchi DVD exclusive. Uh, I did a video on this a while ago, but yeah, I just really love this lenticular cover. Um, and I have number 106 out of 950. I still haven't opened it, but I absolutely love this movie, so it would only make sense that this is one of my premiums. I only have two currently, but yeah, I really love this cover. Next up are Clash and Wrath of the Titans. I actually really like these movies. Not a lot of people like them, but I think they're definitely worth owning, especially because I got them for about 3 or $4 each. And uh, yeah, I think the artworks are really cool too. So... And then next up is Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Uh, I got these each for about five or six bucks each. Uh, so definitely really good deals on that. I don't have uh, The Dark Knight Rises, mainly because I just really don't like that movie. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but uh, I have seen it before and I've held it in my hand. I've seen it for about eight or nine dollars and I just don't want to get it. I just really like these two movies specifically. So uh, definitely worth getting for the price I got them for. And then next up is Kingsman, The Secret Service, and Kingsman, The Golden Circle. So this movie is my favorite spy movie of all time. It is so incredibly well made. Uh, Matthew Vaughn is a great director. Uh, I could watch this movie all the time and never get bored of it. However, the sequel, I absolutely hate. <laughs> I, I hate it so much. There, There's cool moments in it, but overall, I just think it's a very poorly made movie. Uh, so I do hope that the third one is a little bit better, because I would like to get the third one in this Steelbook set. Uh, with the art by Dave Gibbons to kind of just, um, you know, complete the set here. But uh, yeah, I just had to get this one just to kind of complete it. And it was very cheap too. So yeah, definitely some really cool steelbooks here. And these are both sealed still because I do have a Blu-ray copy that I use for watching. And I don't even have another copy of this because I just hate it so much. I just had to get it to complete the set. <laughs> All right, and then next up is Hellboy and Hellboy 2. So this one is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook on 4K. Uh, I got this as a present. So definitely a really, really great movie. Super cool. And Hellboy 2, I got uh, because I got this, so I just wanted to complete the collection. However, I really don't like this cover. I don't like, like the comic book style cover, uh, but hopefully I'll be able to get another one soon with a better artwork. But as of right now, I do have the Gumero del Toro set complete here. Side note, the new Hellboy is terrible. All right, and then next we have my X-Men collection. So I got the trilogy for volume one and the trilogy for volume two. All of them are fantastic movies. Uh, I, I just recently rewatched all of them and they're, they all hold up, honestly. So uh, definitely really cool to have in my collection. And then with my X-Men collection, I have X-Men Days of Future Past, the Best Buy limited edition steelbook. And this is my favorite X-Men movie out of all of them. Uh, Logan doesn't count as an X-Men movie in my opinion. Uh, if it did, it would be my favorite. But yeah, definitely X-Men Days of Future Past is an incredible movie. And I found this steelbook for like $10 brand new, so definitely worth it. And then last up is the Logan steelbook. Uh, I've been looking for this one for a long time. I finally got it. I do plan on getting a premium of this soon uh, because all the premiums for this movie just look so good. And uh, if you do count this as an X-Men movie, I would say that it is for sure my favorite. It is so incredibly powerful and uh, really outside the box, so... I think that's really cool. And then it also comes with Logan Noir, which is the whole movie in black and white. Uh, so I still have it sealed because I do have the Blu-ray already, but yeah. And that is my X-Men collection. All right, next up is my Marvel collection. Uh, I don't have all the movies at all because I know that's going to burn a big hole in my wallet. <laughs> so for right now, I just have a few. So I have Avengers 1. Um, I have Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. I have Avengers Infinity War, and then I have Avengers Endgame. So this was part of the box set, the Best Buy box set. 
uh, which comes in like this style box where you can just basically put them all in there. And it is the complete four movie collection. Uh, it's all on 4K and Blu-ray. So I think this was a really, really cool uh, set to own. And I got this as a present actually for Christmas. So yeah, got them all right here. And then next up is in my top three favorite Marvel movies of all time, the first Iron Man, absolutely incredible movie. Uh, this is what set it off. Um, this is what started the whole MCU. It's a very, very amazing movie. I could watch it all the time. And this is the Best Buy exclusive uh, 4K and Blu-ray, which I got for $10 when it was on sale for about 24 hours only. So I was really lucky to pick up this copy. All right, next is the four movie collection of Spider-Man Homecoming, Far From Home, Into the Spider-Verse, and Venom. Uh, I got this as a present, and uh, I really like this. It comes with all four movies, so... Definitely a really cool thing to have in my collection. All right, next up is Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm pretty sure this is a 3D Blu-ray steelbook. I just got it for the cover. I think this is so cool. It just looks like a Walkman. And then the spine is like the play button and everything. So uh, super unique. And then on the back here, you have the sticker of them. Um, and then like the, the battery port here. So yeah, this is a, this is a really, really unique cover. And then next we have the Best Buy exclusive uh, Civil War 3D Steelbook. I really like this cover as well because of the crack. Um, similar to the Quiet Place Steelbook, it's kind of textured, so it feels like there's like a crack in there. Um, but I really love the artwork of this. And again, such an amazing movie. So, All right, and then last of the Marvel Collection is the Endgame Collector's Edition. If you saw my, uh, my last video when I did an unboxing for this, I think this is so, so nice. Uh, you got the light up box here, and then you got the steel book in here, the 4K copy of Avengers Endgame. Really cool artwork. Uh, I didn't open it because I do have the other copy already, but yeah, I think this is uh, super, super nice, especially to come in this box, which is just so cool. I, I, I love the glow on this. I, I can't get over it. And then, you know, you have the inside with all the extra stuff, like the collectible pins, um, and then you have the character cards and everything, so... Definitely a really cool collector's edition for Avengers Endgame. All right, and then next up we have my Breaking Bad Ralph Steadman Steelbook Collection. Uh, the art on these are just so cool. I did a video for them, so if you didn't see, definitely go check it out. But we have Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4, Season 5, and Season 6. Five and six are the same season, but they just split them up into two. Probably just to make more money, but yeah, I just really love the artworks on these. I think they're really, really nice. Even the back. Um, yeah, definitely a really, really nice addition to my collection. Uh, I absolutely love this show, so definitely worth it and worth it for the price I got it for. I got all of them for about 60, 70 bucks, so totally worth it. All right, and then next up is going to be my Scott Pilgrim collection. If you saw my last video, I did complete the collection. I have every copy of this movie. So first up is the Scott Pilgrim Universal 100th Anniversary Edition. So it's really cool horizontal artwork. You got the evil X's on the back um, and a pretty cool spine. And then similar to that one, we have the German release. Uh, it's just um, vertical instead of horizontal. I still got to fix that spine, but yeah. Definitely a really cool one. And then next is the comic book art version. So they released a lot of these kind of steelbooks, uh, just like the Hellboy 2 one. Um, not a big fan of the cover, but I mean, hey, I had to complete the collection somehow. So there it is. And then we have the UK version. Similar to the German version, just in red. And then we have one of the best artworks, the FYE exclusive. I got this for about eight bucks, so I was really hyped on this. I haven't opened it yet, and uh, yeah, I think um, the comic art style on here is just really cool. And then we have my favorite Scott Pilgrim steelbook, the Everything Blue version. This is absolutely incredible. So this is just the slip cover for it, and then you have the actual steelbook inside, uh, which is similar to the cover of the Fye exclusive, except it's embossed. And then uh, yeah, it, there's only a thousand made. I have number two seventy one out of a thousand. I got this for a really good deal on eBay, still sealed, so very lucky to have this. This is my favorite movie of all time, easily, so. All right, and then last in the entire collection is my first steelbook ever, which I was gifted, 
the iconic art version of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. This is what started it all. This steelbook right here. Alright guys, so this is my entire steelbook collection. It took me a long time to collect all these. I'm very proud of this collection. Some of my favorite movies, some of my favorite artworks. I uh, will be getting some more in soon, which means more videos. So leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a good one.